Good morning, makers. Happy Wednesday and happy fresh new week to you all. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing well. I've been up for a little bit and getting back into the swing of things, back to life, back to reality. I had a wonderful break for the 4th of July holiday and I spent it with my family the majority of the time and it was great. Lots of bonding time with my sweet nephew. I cooked a whole bunch for my family and it was lovely. But I have to say it is very good to be home too. I got back uh, yesterday afternoon and it's it's wonderful. To, I feel very blessed to have such a lovely cozy home so it feels very good and I came back to my little windowsill garden here being alive and thriving and I have several new sprouts. I have a lavender sprout, I have several daisy sprouts and a couple now more than last night of uh, dill sprouts which I all planted last week in the last daily vlog. My strawberry plant is thriving, which you can kind of see right here. And you're probably seeing an overlay of the video too. My lettuce, my one and only little lettuce is doing well. It's starting to perk up a little bit. I can see it there in the corner. Um, but one of the leaves is burned, has burned up a little bit and is dying. So I'm probably gonna chop it off uh, later today to allow the rest of it to thrive. And yeah. I think I'm so excited about it. My Peely is doing really well after being potted last week. And um, my snake plant, which is up here, uh, I finally watered that last night. <laughs> I hadn't watered it since I got it. Whoops. And it was doing fine, luckily. So, but yeah, I'm going to get back to work here and have some updates on some of the makes that I've been working on, mainly just two, um, my ochre cardigan and my habitation throw. And we are back. It is break time. It's been a couple of, or a few hours and i've had a good productive day at work so far i've got some meetings coming up this afternoon and lots of sewing to start doing or start doing again but before that i wanted to give you an update on my two knitting makes um the first you probably saw a little bit this morning is my habitation throw and i'm getting really close to finishing this beautiful make. So this is my second one. The first one is sitting right here. This is using an advent calendar by Amber Crawley, formerly of Maker's Haven. She no longer dyes yarn, but I was lucky to nab one of her final advent calendars. I think she has one coming up for this year that she had already um, put up for um, for sale some time ago. So I think it's totally closed, but always check out her site. I'll link it down below. And I love this, love this, love this so much. So I'm on the second to last mini. I'm using 12 20 gram minis and I'm doing the magic knot ball method, doing, um, the, knit along the magic knot knit along with jewels of so sweet violet and this is what i have left after my giant gigantic ball um, that i started out with and i started this mini while i was on my patreon zoom chat so i'm really excited i love this little pop of green like seafoam green it's so pretty so I just picked this up last night. I haven't knit on this um, probably in about a week, a little over a week, because for the most part, I've been working on my summer garment mal make, and that is the ochre cardigan by Amba <gasps> O'Brien. And I'm using yarn that is repurposed from a garment that I made last year for last year's summer garment mal that I made way too big. It was like dripping off of me. <laughs> so I decided to rip it out after much encouragement and support um, from all of you to rip it out. And I um, wound up the yarn. I didn't condition it or soak it or anything because it's linen. And it's once I kind of wound it up, it kind of went back to its um, state that it arrived in to me. 
and it's uh, by Trailhead Yarns, I believe. I'll put the info down below in the description box uh, in this beautiful turquoise colorway. And I'm just about done with the yoke. It's going so quickly. For me, it's going really quickly. So there we have it. I've got the raglan increases all done. I have one more row and then the pearl row to do. So, so pretty. I'll show you a close up here in the light so you can really see it. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I'm going to put it on waist yarn probably later this afternoon. If I have time, I need to really focus on the bags though. Um, and try it on and make sure it really fits well across the back um, and on my arms. I then will put it back on and separate for the arm holes uh, and then follow the pattern from there. I'm really loving the pattern. I love how it, at least for the yoke, I need to look further into the pattern. I'm one who like scans the full pattern, but really doesn't read it in depth until I'm at each part. I don't know if you can hear my tummy, it is lunchtime. <laughs> and um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm eager to see how the rest of this goes. I think it's a cardigan, so I think for a while, I'm just gonna be going back and forth, back and forth. There's not too much shaping. Don't hold me to that, waist shaping. And then at the very bottom, there's some beautiful lace, um, lace work. I'm not sure how long I want to do the sleeves. It Frankly, it depends on how much yarn I have left. I'm on the second ball of, I think, I think I had three or four. I've got it kind of back there. So one, two, I've done three, I've done one, and then I've done this. So I think I had like four kind of larger skeins. Let me go grab one so you can see what like, a normal skein look like. Here we go. So this is what kind of one skein of the yarn was size wise. So I've done one of these. I've started the second, so it's not too much smaller. And then I'll have these two. And then I have these little nubbins and I think I might have a little bit more yarn somewhere in my bins. So I need to do that, but I think I'll be good. Knock on wood. Um, I weighed it. I should have plenty of yarn and yardage, um, but I'm thinking the pattern has the sleeves going down to here. And I think I might do it a little bit higher so that the, so that the lace is like right here. So three quarter length sleeves. We'll see if if I need to, it'd be kind of lovely to have it just below the elbow too, like the lace kind of covering the elbow, but we'll cross that bridge. I think I'll get, I think I'll probably, I don't know, we'll cross that bridge. Sometimes I always want to do the arms first before I do the full cardigan and then the lace but I think I'm gonna have enough and if push comes to shove, I'm cool with it being a shorter sleeve if I run out of yarn. So, did that make sense? <laughs> I feel like sometimes I speak in knitter speak and we understand, but most people probably wouldn't understand. <laughs> so those are my makes. After I get this round of bags out the door on Friday, uh, I'm going to start stitching again as well, which I'm really excited. I've put it off for about a month and a half. I think I haven't cross-stitched and several of you reached out and were like, where's the cross-stitch? Where's the cross-stitch? It went by the wayside when job stuff was shifting around. Um, if you didn't watch the daily vlogs at some point um, in late June, we announced that we're canceling our seasons at the opera for the fall season and the symphony. And at the opera, I'm an administrator and I'm cool there um, as of now. I mean, you know, life always has changes. You've got to go with the flow. But as a singer, um, I have a contract at the symphony. We haven't heard anything yet, but it's not looking like, it's not looking good because what are we going to sing? <laughs> so um, 
yeah, life transition is happening. And thus for me, cross stitching goes out the window usually. Um, it's something that I don't have to have like stuff in order. It is relaxing. It, it, it provides respite um, and can be meditative, but it's something that it's a craft for me that I can become super focused on and kind of obsessed with. And I'll go with long stretches of stitching. And right now knowing myself and that's how I, that's how I work on that craft. It's just like not a priority for me. And knitting is something that I can put down really easily. I can pick it up. It's repetitive um, and it's more meditative for me. Sewing is that way too. Once I get into, once I have everything or once I'm in like streamlined production line um, sewing. Um, so I'm eager to get to work again on those bags too, cause that'll be lovely. But yeah, so cross stitch, I think I'm at a place now where I'm ready to pick it up again and get back to my modern folk embroidery year long sal that I am only on the second month. <laughs> um, and of course we just started the seventh month. So I've got a lot of catch up to do. I'm not too worried about it. I think I'll catch up. I'm doing one color, um, on this beautiful gray fabric. And so I think, you know, when the time is right, I flew through the first month, I think within three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks. So yeah, I don't feel too much pressure about it, but I know a lot of you also want to see cross stitch as well. And I do too, but you only have so only have two hands, man, <laughs> for myself. That's what I'm telling myself. Anyway, I am rambling. My tummy is rumbling and I'm going to make some lunch. Mission accomplished. Super simple tuna salad. And yes, I'm back on fish. I tried it over the weekend and did really well with it. So I have uh, reintroduced eggs and tuna after doing a plant-based diet for about two weeks or so. And I think that'll be the extent of the meat that I'll be reintroducing because I feel so much better. There are a few things that I still need to really try to purge out of my diet, like gums, like guar gum, xanthan gum, stuff like that, that just doesn't sit well with me. And I think, unfortunately, I need to really minimize how much nutritional yeast or yeast that I've had. I've always known about yeast in my diet, but um, unfortunately, nutritional yeast, I think I need it to be a treat every couple of weeks or so. But learning and growing and feeling much better. Time to dig in. It's now Thursday and I've had a full day of work and am now sewing again after doing quite a bit of sewing and doing all the little itty bits and pieces um, yesterday, ironing and sewing together the handles and all that stuff. And now I'm starting to piece together all of the elements. I love, I love making bags. 
have I mentioned that? <laughs> so those will all be getting packaged up tomorrow and sent out to you all. And I, oh, I got uh, more fabric, more garden gnome, summer garden gnome fabric. So I uh, have to get some more interfacing. I'm on the hunt for a new um, type. I found a really great video. Um, I'll link it down below. I haven't watched it all the way through, but if you're interested, um, that shows different interfacing and what it looks like with different fabrics, namely like quilting cotton, which is the majority of the fabric that I use. So I'm looking to see if there's a different type and I can get that. It might be a little bit easier to get um, because the interfacing that I get right now, it's hard to get it in the quantity that I want. So anyway, shop talk. <laughs> but uh, it's been pretty quiet today. I'm getting ready to hop on a call with my good friend Denise. Um, catch up with her after, I think it's been a little over a week since we chatted. So I'll ever since the holiday and everything and I, I just was thinking of her uh I was thinking of her and then I saw her Instagram story today and she was sharing I hope you don't mind me sharing this Denise while you shared it on your Instagram story but she was sharing how the last few days or a couple of days she's been really down and she's hearing that a lot of people are are finding that too and it's because there are even increasingly more things happening that are kind of out of our control. Um, like the numbers are going up with COVID again. The government's kind of all over the place, local, state, national, you name it. And it's frustrating. It's a There's a frustration level in it. And when that happens, it totally blocks your creativity and your focus and it makes you exhausted. And I mentioned to her, like, I'm very much feeling the same way the last couple of days. It took me a couple of days, like Tuesday and Wednesday to really kind of recover from my trip up seeing family and kind of to really digest kind of all of the last couple of weeks of news and things that have happened or haven't happened. <laughs> Um, and so I, I bring that up not to be Debbie Downer or anything. And I know that a lot of you watch this and other things to escape, but I bring it up because I so appreciated, appreciated Denise mentioning it and saying, you are not alone in feeling that way. You are not alone in feeling frustrated and like your creativity is kind of up and down, up and down, and that it's okay. And I really appreciated that because for a little bit there, I was like, am I the only one? <laughs> I know I'm not the only one, but it feels like I'm the only one who's feeling this way. And just knowing that lightens my mood. I hope it lightens yours. And I know it's cliche and we keep hearing it everywhere. But we really, truly are all in this together. And um, I've got your back. I know you've got mine. Anyway, I am going to get back to work and sewing a little bit. And uh, I can't wait to chat with Denise. Oh, and before I forget, an update on my makes. So I finished the uh, yoke and the extra back length, I believe, on my uh, ochre cardigan and I'm ready to separate for the sleeves. I say I think because the back measurement for the size I'm making, I'm making a size 44 bust. Um, I have like a size 45, 46 bust, so I figured with the positive ease that's um, put into the pattern, I should be okay, and I looked at the measurements um, for the cardigan, for the finished measurements. But the back, the back is supposed to be nine and a quarter inches when you start separating for the sleeves. And it measures that right now. I did it like only one or two. I did two rows after I finished increasing on the yoke. Um, it measures that if I measure from where the rolled collar like kind of lays so it, it'll be like rolled and then so from like if this is a roll from like here to the back it measures that i didn't stretch it out because i think what's happened is it's a rolled collar like i'm not going to be picking up the stitches or anything 
So I'm gonna triple check that. I'm gonna look on Ravelry and look at other project pages and see what people said. I just wanna triple check. And I still, what will be very telling is when I finally put it on waist yarn and try it on. And I'm gonna be doing that probably Friday, tomorrow afternoon, evening, or Saturday. Um, uh, but my my focus right now is on work and getting those backs to you. So just a small update there. It's getting so close to the next step, the really fun step. And uh, I've made progress also on my habitation throw because I'm a little bit at a standstill with the ochre cardigan. And um, I think I am going to have just like a little bit of a nubbin <laughs> for the very last mini. So I'll have a good chunk of that last mini left over when I'm done. But I said that last time and I ended up using the majority of it, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, now back to Zoe. <laughs> Morning makers, happy Friday TGIF. I am so grateful that it is Friday. Oh my goodness, I am so ready for the weekend. <laughs> it's been a doozy of a week and kind of a rough re-entry into the work rhythm uh, given the holiday. I think this was my first time having a holiday, a proper holiday since all this began. So coming back to quarantine slash work from home time has been a little of a, a jolt whiplash kind of situation <laughs> but it's all starting to gel together again and uh, this morning I've been up for a while it's about 11 o'clock right now and I've been doing some work and a little bit of stitching the high notes work shop work here and there as well I finally got all of the shipping labels and the packing slips printed out after a hiccup with my printer first thing this morning like at 7 a.m. So that was a bit of a jolt to the day as well, but I troubleshooted and got it worked out. It wasn't syncing with my Wi-Fi, but now it's all good. So, phew. And I was gonna have to like dive for a USB cable or something, but so far, it, so far it's working. And uh, but I've been taking a little breaks here and there, getting things ready for the packing line, production line later today, so I can get all those orders out to you. Just printed out some more business cards, which I also use for the backing cards for pins and for stitch markers and stuff. And of course, I've been making stitch markers this morning too. So a busy day, but fun, fun, busy day. I uh, did a little bit of knitting this morning on my habitation throw. I'm getting really close to, um, I'm getting pretty close. I'm probably about halfway decrease wise till I get to the 27 stitches when you kind of start doing the last bit of the corner round off. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm even gonna get to my last mini of the 12 minis that I have. So we shall see, stay tuned. We have another day full of vlogging tomorrow. So I'm sure I'll probably get to that point then. And what else am I up to today? I think that's about it. The focus is on work. I have a couple of meetings and then of course getting all your orders out and uh, yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. I've had a whirlwind of a day. I didn't film too much because I just 
was eager to get all your packages out in the mail and I I honestly was cutting it really close and I rushed just before they closed and um, I would look like a crazy lady with my mask on going, hold on, I have all these packages. <laughs> but they got there, so I'm so excited for you to get them in the mail. But yeah, now I'm just kind of decompressing and I'm probably going to knit a little bit on my habitation throw and I'm going to be watching. We're having an event, a digital event for the opera this evening at 730 in a little bit here. So I'm going to watch that, which I'm looking forward to and just kind of decompress. My mind has just been multitasking all day and I'm ready to kind of get refocused. I might meditate for a little bit. I usually just do that in the morning, but I think, I think a little short meditation might be good. Anyway, I'll check in with y'all later. Feeling much better, but as it is Friday, I think it's time for... It's one of my favorite opera arias. Huzzah for the weekend, good morning makers. I am so happy that it is the weekend, a little bit of a slower pace and lots of fun things to do today. I will be going down to Joanne Fabrics down in Berkeley or El Cerrito uh, to hopefully get some more of that lemon fabric and maybe something else, another outdoor fabric if something catches my eye. To be honest, I still need to look online to see if the door buster is still good because that'll make a difference <laughs> if, if I get a second fabric. But of course I will take you along with me. It'll be lovely to kind of get out of the house and the neighborhood a little bit. Um, and then I have to go to the grocery store just for a little bit, um, for a few things rather, um, and also charge my car as well. So errands, Saturday errands. Um, but before that, I have a fun thing of another stitch and chat with my Patreon peeps, Patreon supporters. I do two a week and I love it so much. So I can't wait to hang out with them. I want to get their opinion on the back measurement of my okra cardigan because I'm going to try it on after I get back from my errands. And of course, we'll show you as well and let you know what they say just to make sure that I'm, I'm doing okay. I might actually... 
now that I'm talking about it with you, I think I'm going to actually put it on waist yarn before our stitch and chat. We have about half an hour. It's 10 right now. So it starts at 1030. I'm going to do it on waist yarn and try it on and then try it on for them to see. It's so lovely to have knitter friends and people to bounce ideas off of. I did discuss it with Denise the other day and she said that I was pretty spot on with what my thinking was, but yeah, I definitely need to just try it on, stop perseverating about it. <laughs> so I'm going to do that right now. Um, and then I'll probably just uh, stitch a bit more on my habitation throw, which I didn't stitch too much yesterday because I was working on getting the orders out the door, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of eager to finish that one, have it join this first throw over here uh, and move on to something new. Next week I have, I feel like a new cast on is going to happen. So anyway, I'm going to get to it and put that cardigan on waist yarn and make some tea. Sweet home, phew, that was a whirlwind of errands, about two hours or so. But as you might have seen a little glimpse there, I got really lucky. They had a huge sale going on at Joann's, 60% off now on the outdoor fabrics and a whole bunch of other deals as well as 25% off your whole purchase. So yeah, I stocked up. <laughs> Here's what I got. I of course got more lemon fabric <laughs> and I got this yummy fabric. These are all the same outdoor kind of canvas outdoor fabric. So it's, pr it's really, really thick. Can you kind of hear it? And then I also got a bunch of fabric and this yummy summery watermelon and kind of tropical leaves. Oh, and lemons, I just realized. Yay! And it's the same outdoor fabric. Yay! Such a relief and so exciting. I can't wait to make more bags for you all. So I'm going to put up more lemon bags up for pre-order tomorrow, Sunday the 12th. Just keep an eye out over on Instagram and on the community tab here on YouTube. And I will let you know when they're in the shop. And for the other fabrics, I'm going to whip up sample bags at some point this week, and I will let you know when those are up for pre-order as well. I'll do Instagram, community tab, as well as um, a newsletter, which I haven't done in a while. So just keep an eye out for that. I can't wait. And uh, last little shop thing, because I need to make some food. I am hangry after all of those errands. Um, the in the reef bags, the fish bags that were in the last update, as well as a restock in the summer garden gnome. Those will be in the shop whenever I receive my interfacing, which is due to arrive in a couple of weeks, hopefully, knock on wood. And they didn't have the kind that I needed at Joann's. So we're just kind of standing by for those. So yeah, some fun summer bags coming to the shop. 
But now I'm going to make some yummy dinner. Just gonna make a nice simple pasta dish with some zucchini and summer tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. And um, I wanna show you my ochre cardigan. Okay, the time has come. It's like a little bolero. <laughs> so I tried it on for the Patreon peeps and they said it looks really, really good. It's hitting all the right spots and it's a cardigan. Um, I'm pretty broad shouldered, but I am very short usually, typically, usually, typically, um, from like here to here. So I always have to like shorten this part or shorten my straps a little bit but I think it's looking pretty good and then but I think I need to do let me stand up okay here's about as close as I can get it without the wonder clips coming off <laughs> but I'm gonna do a little let me get some cord here I'm gonna do a little turn around. Come back around. It feels pretty snug, to be honest. But I think it'll be okay. And I am, I did look at the pattern again, and I do have, I, do, I can pick up and do a ribbed collar. And it's really snug on my arm right now because of the waist yarn. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna do, hmm, my voice cracked. I'm gonna knit a few more, I'm gonna knit maybe about an inch more and then try it on again and put a uh, lifeline in or keep this waist yarn in or something um, so that I can rip it out if I need be and then try it on again before I separate for the sleeves to see if it fits a little bit better. Cause yeah, it feels, it feels too snug right now. Okay, I'm feeling better about this. I've been sitting around, walking around in it. This is, my wonder clip popped off, but this one is staying put. Again, this is a waist yarn, but it feels really good. It's not too snug. And it is gonna feel better with the ripped collar. And I think I'll probably be picking up um, for a small, uh, whatever you call that, collar thing. <laughs> I need to end for the night. I think I think it's gonna be good. I am gonna knit about an, half an inch, maybe an inch more before I separ separate for the sleeves. And I'm gonna try it on again first before I do that. So something to work on the next couple of days and of course i will be taking you along with me but for this weekly vlog i am gonna call it a week and a night i am ready to hit the hay already after all of those errands and i think i'm gonna watch pride and prejudice someone from like 1995 i think it is because uh, i've been enjoying a wonderful book that's a take on this story called pride and prejudice and other flavors I will leave the details down below. I'm almost done with it and it is so, so good. So I'm gonna tuck into that and probably my habitation throw or put on a couple more rows on this guy and I will see you all next week. I hope you liked this new format. New format, please let me know down in the comments down below. I really enjoyed making it this way. It's definitely much easier. I don't know why that is. <laughs> I've heard other folks say that too. Just to be able to film and share little things throughout the week and to put it all together throughout the week as well. And it's a lot of fun. And I love, love editing. You all know that from the daily vlogs. So I will see you all next week. Take care, stay safe, and so much love to you all. Bye.